Warm up Saturday. For our AMRAP, we have a seven minute running clock here. We're trying to go through this as many times as we can. So we got five and five, half kneeling dumbbell press. Then we have eight body weight good mornings, five scap push ups, and eight alternating lunges. So four and four each leg there. Your choice with the reverse or forward on those lunges. So five and five, half kneeling dumbbell press. We're gonna grab our dumbbell here. We're gonna go into our half kneeling position. All right, one leg is up, one leg is down. She's pushing a hand on her core to make sure it's nice and tight, and we're driving that dumbbell up and overhead, bicep to ear here, as we press straight up and let it go straight back down. Control it on the way down especially as well. We have eight body weight good morning, so we'll be back to our feet. Feet about hip width, shoulder width apart. We're gonna place those hands behind our head, squeeze those elbows back and behind to create some tension in that spine, and then we're gonna drive those hips back and behind with a slight knee bend and make sure you only go as far as those hips and that back will let you. If you feel your back start to round out, pause before that happens, all right? That's the, that's the range of motion that you have. Don't try to fight for any more because we're gonna be practicing bad form at that point. So go as far as you can, stop, and then hinge back up to a nice tall position, squeezing those glutes at the top. We have five scat push-ups, so we'll be down on the ground here with arms locked out straight, shoulders over wrists. We're thinking about letting those scapulas and those shoulder blades wrap around that back side of our spine, let them sink together and then we're driving that spine into the sky, pushing away from the ground just with those shoulders. Think about squeezing the triceps, keeping those elbows locked out straight. Then we have eight alternating lunges, so no weight here, just body weight. We're either gonna go with a forward lunge or a reverse lunge here, your choice. We're gonna alternate going four and four on the right leg and four and the left leg, so a total of eight here. Make sure we get a full range of motion, both legs end up at 90 degrees at the bottom of our lunge, and we're driving through a nice flat foot at the top. All right, workout time. 25 minute AMRAP, nice long one today. We have five dumbbell sumo deadlift high pulls. There's an asterisk next to that for a reason because down here, each round you go through, your sumo deadlift high pulls reps will increase by five reps. So first round, you would have five reps, which is right there, five reps. Second round, you'd have 10 reps, so we'd increase by five. Third round, 15 reps. Fourth round, 20 reps. So those jump up pretty quick, especially on that fourth round, we'd be at the sumo deadlift high pulls for a little bit longer than five reps. Then we have five and five dumbbell bent over row, 10 hand release push-ups, 20 single dumbbell front rack lunges, so reverse or forward, your choice there as well again, and then 45 seconds of a cardio choice. All right, so with our five dumbbell sumo deadlift high pulls, our dumbbell is nice and horizontal. We're holding the middle of that dumbbell. Feet are outside shoulder width, and we have a little 45 degree angle with those toes. We come down to that mid shin, and we explode up through those glutes and the quads. All right, we're trying to get those legs to lock out nice and straight. Get those hips nice and low, chest stays tall, and we pull and yank that chainsaw straight up our body, all right? The dumbbell never gets away from us. We always keep it nice and close on a straight line up and down like we're trying to fight gravity because gravity only pushes straight down, so we're pulling straight back up. Then we have five and five dumbbell bent over rows. So with our bent over row, we're gonna hinge back just like that good morning position. Knees are slightly bent, torso falls forward, and those hips counterbalance by driving back behind us, all right? We're rowing this dumbbell right back to our hip behind us. Notice how she doesn't flex her bicep. She's not pulling to her shoulder here. She's making sure it's nice and pushed back behind her. She's trying to put that dumbbell in her back pocket here, all right? Then we have 10 hand release push-ups, so we'll be down on the ground in push-up position. We can either go strict or modified with these push-ups here today. We go down to the ground, release the hands, take that momentum away, and then drive back into the ground for a good rep. Then we can try modified as well if we can get a full range of motion here, making sure we get our chest to the ground, relax, and then push those hands into the floor, driving up. Make sure we don't worm though, all right? That core has gotta stay engaged. We worm, that chest comes up, then those hips follow afterwards. We don't wanna see that puts a lot of strain on the lower back. So think about leading with your chest down to the ground, and then when you're pushing back up, think about leading with your hips. It's gonna help force you to keep that core engaged because those hips have to leave the ground with your chest. Then we have 20 single dumbbell front rack lunges. So it looks just like our regular lunge in the warm up, except we're holding a dumbbell in a front rack position. So elbows high, dumbbells across our shoulders, kissing that knee as we step back, just like that. Add a little weight to it. Then we have 45 seconds of cardio. Our cardio options are jumping jacks. We can also do high knees or run in place. Then we have mountain climbers, which are down on the ground. Other options you would be able to also do, um, you could do Burpees, single unders, or double unders, so some jump rope. You can do ghost rope, line hops, or up downs. That's that last one we were looking for. All right, we'll see you guys later.